All right, today I'm going to show you how to install the semi-neon mod pack from CurseForge. Well, it's not actually in CurseForge. We're going to have to download it from my Google Drive. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So we're going to go ahead. First things first, we're going to grab the CurseForge app. Go ahead and install that bad boy in your downloads folder. Uh, just set it in the wrong place. Regardless. All right, so now we're going to open that up. It, it's going to do its thing. We're going to select next. And then we're going to take our installation folder. Um, usually you want to use the default, but I have more than one storage drive. So I am going to go ahead and stick it. Oops. That's the wrong drive. Okay. We're going to go ahead and stick it in our new folder slot here. Boom. And we're going to accept the terms and conditions. All the yada yada. And now while that's working, we're going to go ahead and come down here to our notepad. Everything that we need will be in the description. All right, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. So right, frankly, I don't care about freaking the Chris Forge app installing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click download anyway. I, I Why does that have to pop up every time? Alright, anyway, we're going to go ahead, and now we are going to select our video drive again. Oh, no wrong drive. We're all video drive. I try to be a professional video editor, it's not working. Anyway, we're going to save that there. Now we're going to go ahead and launch this. It's going to create some stuff. Alright, while that's working, we're going to go ahead, and now we are going to go ahead and... Now we are going to go ahead and install the bunker. <coughs> So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Go ahead and paste that in there. And we're going to go ahead and download this. This one takes a little longer to download for some reason. Ooh, fancy. All right. We don't have the Sims. Okay. We're not installing mods for the Sims. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, the standard version. I have three brain cells, and neither of them, none of them went to work. All right, anyway. It should have installed some... All right, we're going to go ahead and create a custom profile, and we're going to select our... Oh, what the? <laughs> I didn't know Minecraft was um 120.1. All right, we're selecting our 1.7.10 version. You can name this whatever you want. I am naming this, obviously, my mod pack. All right, hey, we're going to select Forge because that's what it is. I'm not worried about this. I don't know if that affects anything or not, so we're not touching that. And it will do all that nonsense. It should go ahead and make an in instance. Because it's in the wrong folder again. This thing is very f weird. So we're going to go ahead and open f the folder. I don't think I have it in the right thing. Yeah, of course. <coughs> Uh, I can just. All right, that you know what that works. That works. We're just rolling with it at this point. All right, so we're going to take um. Okay, save save that in there too. Show in a folder. <clears throat> this has gone a little worse than I was expecting. So we're just going to copy both of these. And then we're going to go back to our window here. Back to our mods window. We're going to paste that one. <clears throat> well, this one we're just going to move back into here. And we're going to go ahead and extract all. This, is, this has gone slightly worse than I was expecting. And now we have every little mod that we need for this. <clears throat> Splendid. And now we are going to go ahead and load up our world for the first time. All right. You might have to... Okay, we don't need that folder anymore. We're actually going to have to take the mods out of this folder. put them in here just directly 
I don't know why I did it like that. Regardless, now everything should work properly. All our little things updating. Oh, there's one mod. Oh, oh, look at that. They're piling in. All right, that's 27 mods. That looks good enough to me. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and update this. They can either update it like that or go to the uh, <coughs> GitHub to um, upgrade it. Update it. Yes, upgrade. <laughs> boy, oh boy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit play for the first time. It's going to uh, go ahead and start up all of its nonsense. All of its nonsense. All right, now we have the my mystical block. All right, welcome back. Ooh, heck yeah. All right, now we can actually start playing it. Heck yeah. Oh, wait a minute now. It's going to start changing stuff. Go ahead and copy that and get ready to throw it in a folder. All right. Look at that. Things are happening. All right. We have a saves folder now. We're going to go ahead and pop this in here, and we are going to go give this the extraction special. Now, you are going to need WinRAR uh, for this, so we're going to go ahead and... We already installed it, so... We're just going to hit extract here since we already have it. Makes things so much easier. Boom. We don't have to do anything else. And now we just wait for this thing to load up. Usually that doesn't happen, so we're going to hope it decides to fix itself. Oh, look at that. You got a military complex. Let's go. And lo and behold, that is the map with the uh, 10 missiles. <laughs> okay, well, you, that means everybody can take a crack at exploding my nuclear bunker over here. That's pretty cool, actually. There it is. It, it took a very a lot of brain cells, but we have figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.